Hello and welcome back to our series Fun with Fusion. In this episode, we will be looking at the teeth. Okay, right, here we are back in our comp. Um, I've made a couple of adjustments since the last one. Wasn't very happy. Let's so, zoom in a little bit with the eyes. We had a bit of glow going on the eyelids and uh, interfering. Oh, I wasn't very happy. So what I've done, I've gone back. I go back into the service tracker. As you can see, into our track. And what I've done is I've retracked around the eyes, around the eyes to make sure that the mesh actually follows the eyes properly. There's a little bit of a pop there. Okay, so it, it looks a little uh, little bit better. And that also, when I've over, overlaid it, we go into here. I've changed the merge here from normal, which I think was a bit, mm -hmm, to screen. And then we got a much better glow on the eyes and push it through so zoom out a little bit looks looks a bit more natural uh, as natural as you could be with uh, red eyes okay so what I'll do let's uh, just play that through Okay, so it's still not uh, still not wonderfully perfect, but it's good enough for what we're doing at the moment, right? So, in this episode, as I say, I want to just look really uh, trying to match the teeth in a, a bit better. Um, see what we can do. So, first of all, I want to do is sort of make some color adjustments. I think for the teeth. So we go back to our glow, and I will just add a color correction to start off with um what should we do first let's see what what happens if we oh okay take the saturation up a little bit add a little bit more color into them not too much probably about there bit of contrast maybe well actually that's that's not too bad because we look at our teeth it's introducing a bit of contrast is actually making them look quite dirty which is quite good maybe lift the gain slightly just no, down a little bit a little bit darker but lift just ever so i think we can tweak that again in a minute actually i'd like that i know the um the rest of the image don't look very good, but the teeth are not looking too bad there. They look nice, suitably, uh, suitably roughed up. Uh, all we've got to do now is limit the effect to to the teeth. Okay, so we should be able to do that. Let's move up. If we go back, if I bring that in, let's go to a uh, dual screen. If I bring that into there, we've got our map that we made earlier using um, the service tracker and we use them to make the eyelids. If we go through, if we see, we just got eyelids out there. What we can do is try and do exactly the same thing for the mouth. So if I take, and there's a bit of nap mode, a shift space. map add and uh, load that into there let's have a look on there so we got our bitmap in there and we need to select luminance we got our black and white image so ideally we just want to isolate the mouth on on that bitmap so we can use our old friend, the ellipse. I've forgotten what it was then. 
shove that into the mask input like that and then we need to set that to invert good so we can see through it okay and then obviously pull down Set that over. So we just got it just over the mouth. I uh, don't think there's too much of a movement. Let's just pan through. That's, okay, that's where it's at its widest. So we'll drop it down a little bit. There. Go all the way. Okay. So yeah, so the mouth is moving within the ellipse. Okay. We just need to invert that obviously we want a white on black so again shift space bitmap add add another one plug that into there select that and invert if we're looking at it there we go so there we go right so we've got our inverted Put the outputs are there into the mask input in there and there we have the only the teeth there look at that that's quite nice so only the teeth affected oh look on that oh, it's got a bit on the lips you know i can i probably live with that at the moment zoom out oh actually it looks okay zoomed out yeah it looks that actually looks okay Let's go back to the beginning. I'm just going to let that play through and we'll see what that looks like. I'm actually quite pleased with that. It's come out quite well for quite a, a simple fix. Yeah, it looks uh, looks quite effective. Okay, right, I think, uh, I think for now we'll uh, leave that like that. Okay, right, here we are at the end. Um, I think we've uh, accomplished what we set out to do. We have a nice skin replacement, eye replacement, done a bit to the mouth, change the background. Um, so what we'll do, we'll just run through quickly what we're doing. So let's start off with our original footage. From that, we actually produced a second set of footage uh, made out of stills, which is our background uh, green screen replacement. Okay, from there, we fed into a color correction just to make sure a bit of color on there. And we added our main component with the service tracker, uh, which is then fed from our reptile skin, bit of color correction onto the surface tracker. through so we're going to merge with our jungle background which we placed up the top yeah which is just the jungle put it through a nice transform so we make sure we've got the right size little, little bit of blur merge that over a blank background to give us the sizing that we want a little bit of color correction to add it then so there's a little bit of a match it's a bit of a poor choice, I will admit, on choosing a, back, a green background for a green skin, but uh, that, that's fine. Okay, also then we ran our color correction to do more tracking for the eyes. We play our eyes back. And then we eventually added them on top. giving our nice red eyes through a bit of a glow add in the mouth and that's our output okay here we are at the um, finished ish comp uh, is it perfect no was it designed to be perfect no not really uh, what I wanted to do 
during this was just to see whether I could do a full skin replacement. Uh, it's something that I did about two, maybe three years ago in After Effects. Uh, but the trouble with After Effects was I needed to add extra plugins, which was an extra cost. After Effects also, you have to part, uh, use it as part of the Adobe Suite, which was costing £50 a month, which is quite a lot of money. Yeah, um, but with DaVinci Revolve, it's actually free. Now, you can't do this because you need to use the studio version of DaVinci Revolve, DaVinci Resolve to do this. Uh, the studio version will cost you $300, or well, thereabouts at the time. But it contains everything that you need, and for the $300, it's a one-off payment. So far, all updates for Resolve has been free. Uh, they haven't charged any extra since the beginning, and it's done a really good job. Good. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. So hopefully you all enjoyed that, and... We'll have a crack at uh, doing some skin replacement. Hope to see you soon.